Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to configure Eraser routers for Nepal Telecom internet connection. So you have to open a web browser. In, in this example, I have already opened uh, Google Chrome web browser and you have to type the IP address of the router and usually the IP address for the router is always 192.168.1.1 like here you can see on the url and if you want to check what the ip address of the router is then you can check at the back side of the router which is written as 192.168.1.1 or something like that and even the new routers uh, i have seen like 192.168.1.10 or something like that <coughs> never mind but it is written at the back side of the router or you can find that on the manual of the router uh, so in this one i'm using the tp link router so it has the ip address 192.168.1.1 now let's see what what is next and now it is asking for the authentication so the username is the default username is always admin and the password is also always admin if you haven't changed the setting yet, now let's log on. Now here you can see the status of the router. In this one, uh, first of all, find out that if there is the BPI, BCI use like 881 in other PVC. Check, check this out. If there is already used 881, then you cannot use same BPI, BB, BCI setting for another PVC so check this one if there is already used then you have to reset the router you can reset the router by going to maintenance and then sys restart and then cl click on default factory setting and restart then your router will restart after one minute and then you can uh, repeat the same process up to the status and when you're when there is a free BPC BPI BCI to 881 then you can go to interface setup and then you can choose any any PVC like listed in here for example we can simply use PVC 0 and for the BPI there will be another BPI I have already used it so the BPI for the ADSL connection of the NDC is always 8 and the BCI for NDC connection is always 81 so use like that and in ATM QS leave as, as it is now as UBR and for the ISP uh, choose um, PPOA slash PPOE you can choose uh, this PPOA slash PPOE you have to choose that on every router so next process will be the username and the password which is given by the ADSL uh, by the NDC so you have to type that in this field and then uh, connection always on recommended click on this and I think that is already done by the default and get IP address this is leave that as it is now and in net also leave that as it now and in other setting leave as it is now and click on save and when you click on save then i think you have configured your router successfully this is the most easier easiest way you can do on any routers not specific especially specifically for this tipping the tippling router you can do that on every routers and then click on again maintenance and sys restart and then click on current setting and then click on restart then i think you have done the connection successfully and next time the your device will reboot then the connection is made and you can surf the internet successfully and happy internet connection and happy surfing thank you